Now, Mr. Fidelford, we'll talk about the painting. Okay. I had some samples. Oh, here we are. Now, first, the living room. I want it to be a soft green. Uh-huh. Not as blue-green as a robin's egg. No. But not as yellow-green as daffodil buds. Uh-huh. Now, the only sample I could get is a little too yellow. But don't let whoever does it go to the other extreme and get it too blue. No. It should just be a sort of grayish yellow green. Uh-huh. Now, the dining room. I'd like yellow. Not just yellow, a very gay yellow. Something bright and sunshiny. Uh-huh. I tell you, Mr. Padelford, if you'll send one of your workmen to the grocer for a pound of their best butter and match that exactly, you can't go wrong. Uh-huh. Now, this is the paper we're going to use in the hall. It's flowered. But I don't want the ceiling to match any of the colors of the flower. No. There's some little dots in the background. And it's these dots I want you to match. Not the little greenish dot near the hollyhock leaf. No. But the little bluish dot between the rosebud and the delphinium blossom. Is that clear? Uh-huh. Now, the kitchen's to be white. Not a cold antiseptic hospital white. No. A little warmer, but still... Not to suggest any other color but white. Uh-huh. Now, for the powder room, in here, I want you to match this thread. And don't lose it. It's the only spool I have, and I had an awful time finding it. As you can see, it's practically an apple red, somewhere between a healthy wine sap and an unripened Jonathan. Uh-huh. Oh, excuse me. You got that, Charlie? Red, green, blue, yellow, white. Check. 